Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you on eBay what absolute pricks that exist in the knife world. I can just imagine who this is. All right, this is a factory custom buck 110. It's an absolutely beautiful knife. I mean, if you look at this, <clears throat> look how that is done. I mean, it is just a wonderful, patriotic looking knife. I assume that's wood. I mean, it's very hard to tell what it is. Nickel silver bolsters. It's definitely a custom deal. I mean, see how it's got the anvil, and it's a 50-year edition, special edition type knife. It's sitting here. It was on auction. It was a 2014 Buck 110 Stars and Stripes mint in the box, and it's sitting here on auction at $202.50 from some absolute prick down in Lakeland, Florida. I mean, this is being sold, let me see, same knife over here, starting bid. This is another one at $425. It's the identical knife, 50 year commemorative stars and stripes limited edition from the factory buck 110 so to safely assume this one is the other one owned by the prick 16 bids as you can see and that could easily take that knife right up to four hundred dollars so what did i do i immediately saw that it's for sale and it's going to be shipped USPS for $9.65. Really? You want a four, possible $400 knife to be shipped by USPS. I'll give you a little backstory. Two months ago, I bought a kind of rarish buck 110 from a guy in Michigan and it went through USPS in Detroit, Michigan and never left Detroit. Well, that was about two months ago and I just received it two days ago. I'm at war with the United States Postal Service for the sheer fact that in my area, they are the lamest thing you could possibly deal with. My mail gets delivered to another address constantly. Thank God I kind of know the guy who lives in the house. I've had to chase my mail carrier down the street in my truck because I get out for delivery. I watch him pull up to my house and drive away. And I don't get the package, but it's out for delivery or it says delivered and they give it to somebody down the street. So the United States Postal Service is using this COVID crap as like their constant excuse. And they are lame. They are lame. There is a distinct difference between the post office now and the post office five or 10 years ago. Absolutely night and day difference. In my opinion, it's a direct reflection of our governmental system. I mean, the next thing you know, we're gonna be, we're gonna be in a war with Russia. I was looking at this one. This guy's shipping this for $15, all right? Now let's see how he was gonna ship it. That's in Winter Garden, Florida. $15 standard shipping. What the hell does that even mean? But he's charging $15.
I mean, this is the crap. The reason eBay is turning to crap. This one has better pictures, of course. I mean, look at that thing. That is one gorgeous from the factory type buck. So let's go over here to Mr. Prickface. All right, let's go over to him. And this one was at $202.50. So what I did is I was putting two and two together here. And I said to myself, there is absolutely no way that I want this knife in the hands of the United States Postal Service. I went and sent this person a message via eBay. And I'm gonna show you this conversation. I mean, I'm not one to pussyfoot around here myself. So let's go down here. Here's the message. I believe this is the first one I sent. Let me see. Okay, here it is. I said to this person very nicely, I'll read it to you if you can't read it yourself. Are you trusting the United States Postal Service with this beauty? I would not. They are the worst. Just got a custom buck that was lost for two months yesterday since January 1. They've lost or not delivered to me about four or five packages and I'm at war with those feds. So you don't do FedEx or UPS for a few bucks more? I mean, I was willing to pay extra. And here's what this individual said to me. Now, he says, I use priority mail. I have had one package come up totally missing about two months ago out of 3.5 mil in knives shipped. Shipping is as stated. Wow, that's some customer service for you right there. That is unbelievable from Tampa, Florida. I mean, the customer service here is going through the roof, isn't it? I'm willing to pay for FedEx or UPS, not. And I don't give $3.5 million in knives shipped. Cut me a break, asshole. All right, so let's go to the next one here. And I, I, I'm like, that's it. You, I just got cut loose out of the, out of the, out of the barn, man. I'm ready to rock. So I said to him, "Thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Dinosaur. I have just saved hundreds of dollars, and wouldn't purchase a ten-dollar item from you now. I have heard that BS from many dinosaurs on eBay who are not out to satisfy his customers." because it may cause them a little bit of inconvenience. It's a known fact the unreliability of the USPS is real. They don't have to be good at anything. I mean, it's just the government. You don't have to be good at a damn thing in the United States. Well, here's what he says back. Yeah, I hear you, Mr. Blowhard. You just got one thing right. You won't be buying anything from me. You think the world revolves around you? Let me clue you in. It does not. This is my business, and I run it as I see fit. You're probably a snot-nosed liberal that thinks we serve you with a silver spoon up your ass. Oh, wow. This guy is he ought to be running our country. How about that? He ought to be running the United States. What a prick. And this just keeps going on and on and on. He won't lament one bit, and either do I. I'm not, I don't back down ever. And then I wrote, it's funny. I was sure you were some federal employee libtard myself. Wake up, dino. I'm far from it, smart guy. My dollars mean a lot. The reason I was asking to help protect them. 
I don't want to go through the eBay games as I have before after those slow shoe USPS employees lose an expensive knife. I don't give a shit what you think. I know what can and does happen. It's happened to me over and over and over in Jacksonville, Florida. So that was my reply back to him. And it keeps going. Let's see if I can find the one he sent back after that. Oh, well, then he jumps into where there was a total debacle with a sale that I made. And he goes, oh, blah, blah, blah. Nice feedback you got for your liberal cheapness of shipping economy first class, you two-faced liberal. That has nothing to do with a $400 knife getting a, you know, into a, a um, feedback dispute. And that has nothing to do with it. it. And I said back to him, I've been doing eBay for 15 years, 16 years. And I had one issue with a guy when it came to positive or negative feedback. And it was not a possible $400 knife. I just wanted to see if this individual would send US, um, instead of USPS, if he would send UPS or FedEx. And look at this bullshit that I gotta put up with. We must never forget this country does not belong to them. It belongs to you, the American people. This nation is your heritage, and our magnificent American liberty is your God-given right.